Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create 100% stacked column or bar chart in SSRS report. We'll be preparing our query and then creating these different type of charts. We'll create a simple column stack chart and then convert to the 100% stacked column chart. We'll convert that 100% stacked column chart to the 100% stacked bar chart and we'll display the data labels on those charts. Let's go to the SSMS uh, SQL Server Management Studio and take a look. Here I have a select query that's select on region, country, and item sold from total sale table. So region will be used as categories and the country will be used as a series group and the item sold will be used as a values. So for each of the category, our series is, series values are going to be stacked on each other. So let's copy this uh, query and go to the SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. I already have SSRS project open. So click on the reports, right click, add and new item. Click on the report here and then give the name. So we are going to call this one 100% stacked. Add. Click on the data sources add a uh, data source so we call this one DS sales and uh, we are going to use uh, the shared data source reference so we have already created the shared data source it is good practice uh, to create shared data source uh, if uh, you are creating multiple reports uh, from same database uh, in that way when you deploy it uh, you will be deploying one uh, data source to your report server and you will be making one change uh, uh, and if you have embedded a uh, connection then you, you have to make change for each of the report now hit ok click on uh, data sets uh, and uh, data uh, right click uh, and uh, say add data set and here we will provide uh, the name so let's call this one d set sales sorry use uh, data set embedded in my report fine and data source select the data source here and then paste your query now hit ok in the design surface right click and go to insert and then go to the chart we'll see different type of charts available to us here we don't see any stacked chart in this category but each of the categories such as column if you will hover your mouse here you will see the stacked column chart here and then we have 100% stacked chart they look pretty much the same if you take a look on that one uh, when we see the diagram or the icon here also in the bar we have bar chart here and then we have a stack bar and then we have a hundred percent stack bar chart so these uh, all are available right here so let's start with the column so I'm gonna click on column and then go to the stacked column chart so hit ok as of now I'm not creating 100% stacked chart I'm creating stacked chart only so I will show you and then convert to the 100% so you can see the difference so let's make it this little big and now okay so we are all set here um, click uh, on the chart and then we have values in the values we know that item sold will be going so we have item sold in the categories A, B, C, D, E and F we want the region so we selected the region and the last thing in the series that we want to stack for each of the category is our country name so select the country name once you select you will see the multi colors for these bars or columns now preview the report and as you can see that for each of the category the countries are stacked on each other for such as Asia we have India and Pakistan from here you can see the colors and then uh, for Europe we have uh, France, this is France and uh, the orange one is uh, Germany but we don't really see the va data values uh, here so let's go ahead and cl click on these bars and say show data labels now we'll see the actual values uh, for this uh, series now for uh, India we have seven and uh, in Pakistan we sold uh, three items uh, and uh, this is the uh, happen in the Asia region so same in Europe region we have uh, sold uh, 17 items in France and the two items in Germany. So this entire thing happened in 
Europe. Now I have actually created another report where you want to show the total of these re, uh, categories on top of these uh, uh, bars. So I, I would recommend watching that video if you are interested to show how to show the total on the bars in the stack chart. Now we are good here and you can see the value and everything. But if we are interested to show or display these values in a percentage. So let's say if I want to go ahead and change uh, Asia to 100% so that we have 7 here and 3 here. And if we convert this one to this should be 70% and this should be 30%. So and in, in North America the sale only happen in USA and if I want to see in a percent okay how how much percentage I sold in North America region and 100% I sold in USA. So that's called the stacked 100% stacked chart. So if we convert that then we'll see those values there. So right click here and say change chart type and now you will be clicking a hundred percent stacked column chart so click here and now you see that the range has increased from zero to hundred so everything will be uh, between one to hundred so let's uh, go ahead and preview that now we see that India value was seven now it is seventy percent and thirty percent is in Pakistan now you see it was seventeen and uh, there was two for Germany but uh, now in the percentage we see that 89% uh, uh, 89.47% items were sold in France uh, and uh, only 10.53% uh, items were sold in uh, Germany and uh, in the final uh, we have uh, USA and all the items were sold in USA and we don't have any other country in this North American category so everything it is shown 100% so that's how you will uh, convert your normal chart uh, call a uh, stacked chart to the hundred percent when you see want to see the percentages here now let's go back here and uh, as of now we have column uh, hundred percent stacked column chart if we would like to convert this to the hundred percent stacked bar chart so right click here change chart type and now go to the bar charts here we can convert to the stacked simple chart stacked bar chart so let's convert to the stacked bar chart first and uh, let's preview it now and now you see that categories are displayed on the y-axis and we have interval that's going from the uh, 0 to the 20 on the x-axis so the, the major difference between the column chart and bar chart is the way it, they are displayed on y-axis and x-axis in a, a column chart we have categories on x-axis and uh, the intervals on y-axis but in the bar it is totally opposite we have categories on the y-axis and we have interval on the x-axis so now this is this looks great the one thing we would like to do we want to convert this one as a hundred percent so I'm gonna right click here change our type and now I can go ahead and say hundred percent stacked bar so once I do this one it's all good and now you can see that I can see for as a percentage so it is 100% now so we have 70% so uh, sales in India and 30% sale in Pakistan and these are the same value what we have seen in the 100% stacked column chart but now they are in the bar so they are uh, in just the categories are on the y-axis and interval is on the x-axis now let me show you one more thing right click change our type and here we have 3D stacked bar or you want to convert to 3D 100% stacked bar so that's also possibility so hit ok so this is how your 3D chart will look like still you have the same values but it is a more uh, 3D presentation of your chart if you are interested to convert this one to the column 100% stacked column chart you can do that as well my mouse is not behaving chart type and then we go here and uh, we have 3d column and uh, if we have 3d stacked uh, and then we have a hundred percent 3d 100 percent stack chart so click on that one and now you will see hundred percent stacked column chart in 3d so that's how our values will look like you always have options to play with these let's say with these data points um, or data labels uh, if you want to play with them right click uh, go to series label properties uh, and uh, 
you can change the fonts uh, let's say i'm not interested i'm interested in small fonts uh, i can change that i can make them bold i can make them italic uh, i want to change the color i want to change the color to something green and uh, there are so many things the underline uh, um, if we want to do underline that's also possibility uh, and you can you can do tons of things uh, with these uh, uh, even uh, data labels uh, with the blocks uh, you I have done actually a video how to even custom uh, color these uh, bars uh, so you have option even writing expressions uh, and uh, changing the color the way you want uh, instead of uh, it will select red for uh, India and uh, dark blue for Pakistan, maybe you want to go uh, with the country flag. For let's say Pakistan, it's more like green, and uh, for other country, maybe different color. So you can uh, color these uh, bars accordingly, but you have to write expression. There is a video I have uh, uh, created. You can take a look into that one. So thanks very much for watching this video, and I hope you learned something out of it. I will see you guys in the next video.